Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, today we are going to do the sketch. So you need to have your dry media paper. It could be the printing paper if you don't have sketch paper or mixed media paper. Okay, so printing paper is fine. But if you have the sketch pad, then use your sketch pad. Okay, and today we are going to do the two point perspective. So you probably need the ruler to help you to find the angle. Okay, so ruler is will be easier for you to do your drawing. And we will only need to use HB or 2B, one of them. Okay, eraser for short. That's it. So remember, the two point perspective. We need to have two vanish point, right? But if our sketch pad is too small, and I want to have my bird house like this big. So then I have the two point perspective on the paper, so the angle will looks too crazy, right? So see, I have one piece of paper, a big one, under my sketch pad, okay? And you can see there is a line. I fold the paper, so I got the line here, so I can make sure my vanish point are on the same level. So you have to put your vanish paper, uh, vanish point. Out of the paper, okay. Not on the paper. Out of the paper. So if you afraid you will forget where the vanish point are, then you better to have something like uh, you can have the structure on top, so you know here is one vanish point and here is another one. Or you can have just like me. I place a bigger paper under my sketch pad, and I just have my. I use the marker so you can see it's more clear. So my VP point, vanish point one, and my vanish point two. Okay, and remember they have to on the same level. They have to be on the same level. Okay. All right. So. We are going to do three bird house. You don't have to copy exactly I have, but I will teach you how to start with. Okay, then you can change the roof, you can change the door, even you want to add the window. That's all by yourself. Okay, I don't really mind. So first, because we are going to do three, right? So first, we have to do the layout. We have to make sure three of the bird house can fit. On the paper, okay. And I want to know where the bird house. So first, I want to my first bird house like this big on my paper. So total looks like this big. So you can place the bird house in the random area, okay. You don't have to do the same thing like mine. And the second one is behind, a little bit higher. It's behind. It's right here. And my last one is right here. Okay, so make the box as light as you can, because we just have a house inside the box, and we are not going to keep it the box. Okay. And remember, two point perspective is start from the edge. Okay, so let me write it down. Two points. Start. Eight. Okay. So I have to make sure I want to have my front at here. So I won't need to have. So I want to have the line all the way down. The total high side this big. Okay. So we start from the edge, one corner of the birdhouse. Then remember, I have to use 
the point and connect to my VP point. So you don't have to use the ruler, you can freehand it, okay? But I place the ruler so you can see where I connect with. So the left side going to the left point, even the top. So we have to start with the cube. Okay, but it won't look like a cube, it will look like the rectangular. Okay, and the right side go to the right. Okay, and vertical line. Close has to be 90 degrees. Drop the paper. Okay, so now we got the two dimensions, like 3D shape, right? But it doesn't look like the bird house yet. And I want to do the roof, okay? So the roof, I want to have my roof right here, like this long. So I need to find the same angle from the left to the right. I need to find another angle right here, right? So how can I find it? I have to connect my two vanish points Number two, don't move your paper, okay? Stay there. You are not going to change the place of the vanish point, okay? So I know my roof from here will go into this point, right? And I have to con have to find the side, the roof on the side, right? So I start from the top to the vanish point once. And don't forget the button. It has to go to the vanish point one as well. Okay, so here, same angle. Move, borrow the angle from here. Drop it to the back. The same angle. Touch. Okay, then you got the roof. Okay. But I want my roof a little bit bigger, so I will turn the size. So make like the roof is bigger than the body of the house. So same on the other side, it's longer. Okay, so we finished the base, right? Now we have to start with the detail. And I don't want to confuse you, so I will going to use the Sharpie to do it. Okay, to do to teach you how to do the detail based on the shade that we already have. So let me got my markers. Okay, I use the same marker to do it. So let me zoom in. Okay, so the roof. The roof is right here. I'm not going to change this one. The roof has the depth, right? They are not making with the paper. It usually make with the wood, even the plastic, right? So we have the thickness of the wood. So I'm going to add the thickness. So the roof won't look like the paper. Okay, straight down. So we are going to have the same thing on the, back, the side, right? The top. Okay, and the roof, I'm going to make the roof. So this line have to connect to the, two, the vanish point too, so you can find the depth right here, okay? is going out from here. Okay, then we have to do the door. We usually for the birdhouse don't have a door like the 
real door for the people. The user is the circle. So which means I have to add in the box to make sure my circle looks like the real angle. Okay, so two vertical lines for the width of the door. Then remember, we have to make everything go through the vanish point too. The one on the left. Okay, so I got the box and I make the center cross. So I can cut the door, the circle with the right angle. It will look like the oval, okay? Because we are not actually facing the, the front. Okay, so we have the door, the depth of the door. Okay, so now I want you to start to do your birdhouse. Okay, it could be any shape, it could be any decoration on it. Even you want to have a small bird on top, but we can do that after. But now I want you to start to do the birdhouse, the house itself. Okay, now you can begin. When you've done your first one, then you can remove the box because we don't need that anymore. So we can just remove it. So when I start to do the birdhouse behind, the line won't bother me too much, right? So the same. This time I want to have my the birdhouse on face on the right. It doesn't have to be the same angle. Okay, they can place randomly. 
So again, the same. You have to connect all the vanish point we saw with the box. So see, even you can freehand it, but you have to eyeball it. It looks like going through the vanish point one. Okay, the line is going through the vanish point one. So you have to eyeball it. So it's training, you can train it yourself. So imagine there always has two vantage points when you are doing the join, but most of the time they are outside of the paper. They are far away. So you won't get the crazy angle on your paper. Okay. So you can design any birdhouse. So this time I want my roof looks like this direction. Remember, even you want to add some poles, you have to make sure they are going through the vantage point so you got the right angle. Okay, the line, you don't have to use a ruler to trace every single line. It doesn't have to be the perfect one. Because we are not going to do the architecture. The class is for fine arts. So most of the time you should do it by freehand. The ruler just helping you to find the, the correct angle. That's it. You are not going to trace it. Okay? So try to not using the ruler. Okay? Then you can add more detail, but remember all the detail. All the detail has to go through the vanish point. Okay, even I want to add the fake window. I still have to make sure my windows. I have to still make sure my window is connect to the vanish point where I'm not going to create the window by myself okay so even I want to have the fake window you can add the detail see I have to make sure my window is inside the box so the right side will be bigger than the left side right the depth
so don't be afraid. Even we are doing the fine art, doesn't mean you cannot be creative, okay? So don't limit yourself. So I was going to show you another sample how to do the cylinder, okay? So the same, we have to start to do the box. So this time I put my line at the middle. Because the cylinder, there is no side, is, there's no side, right? There's no face. So they have the curved shape there. So I just put that at the center and make sure I'm making the box. Okay, and I can see the bottom because this one is higher than my eye level. So I can see the bottom. got my cube and I have the bottom and the top okay and let me zoom in so the same I find the center on this edge the edge connect so I got the cross the center cross of the box all right then I'm doing the smooth curved shape got the oval that is the base just make sure you touch the point that we made okay so we are doing the same thing on the top we are going to have the center cross okay and line to line See the top here we don't see the curve on the other side because it doesn't make by the glass so we won't see that another side so we just do one curve that's it okay then that's the cylinder so the same thing you can add the detail spend your time to finish your three bird house so as much detail as you can okay that's take your time to complete your join don't be rushed you might need to think about it imagine it and create it and draw them down Okay, so you might need to think about it. How can you complete your join and how can you make your join looks even better? So think about it before you start to add anything on it. Okay, so things and imagine it and create it. Remember, don't be rushed, take your time. Don't forget, good art always takes time.
Remember, don't be rush, take your time. That's it. Any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. No worrying if you need more time to complete your awesome work. Okay, so when you finish the base, okay, then I want you to think how do you place the birdhouse? Is on the tree? It has a pole or it's hanging there? So you have to think this, uh, think about it. If you want to do a pose, make sure you have the line straight down. Or you want to hang on the tree, same thing straight up, right? If you have the string, so which means you are going to have some trees, the leaf. Okay, so before I'm doing that, I have to make sure all the extra pencil line that I cleaned them up, okay? There's no extra pencil line before we start to add in more detail, okay? So now, you can get your eraser to start to remove the extra lines. Okay, so you can start to add in some leaf. So when I do the leaf, for sketch, I will do something looks like this, just random. But I'm not going to do the scribbling, okay? I'm just making making then looks like the leaf. Some big, some small. close to the shadow you don't have to add it but around the highlight around the bird house I'm going to add something sometimes just adding the lines so remember they are not organized okay they have to be the freestyle so anywhere you want to add it Stick. 
same thing. The stick has to be freestyle. Okay, so feel free if you actually want to add some bird. So that will be your background time, okay? So today we are just finished the pencil on lighting. And then next week we are going to start to shading and we were going to talk about the light and shadow and texture after, okay? So finish your pencil line as much as you can. Try to complete your joint looks like the foot joint, not just one single item, okay? It has to look like a complete joint. When you complete your joint, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后, 签下你的名字, Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦! And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦! Bye bye! See you next time!